I'm, I'm done now. A after four years, I'm done with trying to find the one product that works the best for you. When it's like, why don't we just do all of them? Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. So I want to go over some heart placking protocols. And I've been studying this subject pretty extensively for four years now. I did my first few videos on YouTube about this more than four years ago, I should say. And it's, I'm going to start with the beginning. And that's what the protocol I put together based on um, some products from Standard Process, the knowledge that I gathered from Standard Process from the 1930s. And the main, their main product is Ceruta. My most viral video on YouTube is about this particular product. And I just had a patient. He's got placking in his arteries. He said Ceruta helps him breathe better and deeper, and it gives him energy. And that's what I experienced when I took Ceruta, and I had mold affecting my heart. I didn't know I had mold, but... Man, this got rid of the chest pain and uh, gave me some relief as far as uh, giving me energy and helping me breathe better. So along with Ceruta, I would give a protocol including fast food liquid and some Cal Ammo and some Cataplex F tablets. And these are just supplements from Standard Process that are uh, designed to return normal physiology. Now in medicine, they treat diseases. Diseases are a collection of symptoms. And symptoms are the signs that organs tell you that there's something wrong. And medicine treats diseases. They treat symptoms. And um, the job in the holistic healthcare field, and we're talking about the supplements, the diet people, you know, the ones that are trying to reverse your poor health, their job legally is to return uh, function back to normal. So you have dysfunctional cells, dysfunctional metabolism, a dysfunctional immune system and then you return that to normal and what does it take to do that add some herbs correct the diet detoxify bad stuff out of the body and that's really what true healthcare is is um, returning function uh, back to normal of all the cells tissues organs etc okay you can let the medical doctors treat your symptoms treating disease and uh, good luck with that I mean there's a need for that to save lives for sure but in terms of chronic illness, chronic health problems, we got to work on function, physiology. You got to know normal physiology and get, it's, you know, it's like a, a broken um, uh, electronic device. You don't know how to fix it until you know how it's supposed to work, right? So you got to know normal physiology to get it back to normal. Okay, Ceruta, I'm still a huge fan of it. I sell a lot of it. And um, it's, uh, it's a foundation for helping arteries that are plugged up. Then I learned about NanoBac TX, and I, I gave this out. Um, people bought this, they use it, and it, re, and it lowered coronary artery calcium scores, and I'm very happy with it. It's helped a lot of people with um, autoimmune conditions too, and it can break up. Um, um, it has like a derivative of EDTA, and um, it can help uh, break up placking. Okay, so I don't want to say anything illegal, the the make the guy who made this he cannot say those words and um, I'm not saying those words either. What we're doing is returning normal function to the arteries. That's exactly what we're doing. And what happens when the arteries are functioning normally? You have an increase in circulation and things tend to get better. Now, great success with this, but also in some cases no success, and also with Ceruta, some cases no success. Right, so then I learned about concentrated K and uh, vitamin K, there's several vitamin Ks, but uh, vitamin K is important for the proper metabolism of calcium and you wanna get it out of the soft tissue, like your heart, and put it into your bones so you don't get osteoporosis. And I just had a patient, he was very happy with this, and he said to me that, it's very interesting, he takes this and his eyes weep, something is coming out of his eyes, also, you can get like a cholesterol ring inside your eyes, and that was getting thinner. So it's almost as if cholesterol placking was leaving his eyes and uh, coming out to the exterior onto his skin. And that's what glaucoma is, uh, or cataracts, I should say. Cataracts is a, a thickening or hardening of the lens. And um, so concentrated K, the main source of K, by the way, is meat. So people who eat a low meat diet because their cardiologist told them to, it's very detrimental to the heart. You want to keep the carbs down 
You want to have the animal fats and proteins um, up and you want to repair. You want to, um, also I'm a big fan of ketosis. Now I've had people get into ketosis and it did not change their coronary artery calcium score. So that brings me to the next set of products that I want to talk about. So I have a guy, he was in ketosis. He's an engineer. He's tracking everything perfectly. He took all the right supplements. He took lots of nanobacteriax. And I think he was on concentrated K and Ceruta, but yet his coronary artery calcium score was climbing too fast, greater than 15% per year. And it's like, okay, now I got to dig deep and figure out like what the heck is going on. At that point, I learned about um, organisms such as bacteria, uh, not necessarily in the arteries, but distant from the arteries, like the mouth, the ears, uh, cavitations or infections in the jawbone. And I talked to him about that. So he got a, a 3D cone beam and discovered he had seven infections in his jaw bones, upper and lower. So, okay, so we have to fix that because these organisms are excreting mucus and pus and they're going into the bloodstream straight to the heart. And that mucus and pus is an immune system stressor and the immune system has to heal it. And the healing, uh, the last stage of healing is calcification. Right, so like if you break your bone, right, you have uh, swelling, redness, uh, more red blood cells, more white blood cells to the area, and then scar tissue, and then lastly calcification to repair that bone. So you can get calcification in your arteries, therefore um, arteriosclerosis. So I told this particular patient, let's think of this in a different way. I want you to take herbs that can help the immune system get rid of organisms, and these are the products I put them on. And he did them for a year. So IS Bohr, this is from Standard uh, Cellcore Biosciences. And here's IS Boost, and then IS Bart, and then these are multi-herbal liquids. The last one is IS Bab. So I told him take, for example, let's say six squirts a day, three at breakfast, three at dinner, and this will last you more than a month. But at four weeks in, go to the next one, six squirts a day. At four weeks in on this, go to the next one. Right, so there might be a little bit of overlap. Let's say this one lasts five weeks. So for that one week, you're doing the rest of this bottle and you've added this one. He just cycled through these four bottles for a year. And that was the major factor. And then his coronary artery calcium score stayed exactly level, perfectly level from one year to the next. Now it was still a higher number, but when that number is stable at, let's say, let's say it's 2000, right? It's a crazy high number, but if it's, exactly 2000 one year after the next after the next it's as if the score is zero because it's very stable so this is part of the protocol right of all the things that i've talked about why why am i even bringing this up it's like i've been thinking about like what's the next thing i need to do to talk about for placking in the arteries and the answer is well it's to save your life why would you not do something right? Of all these things, do them. And uh, I don't know how deep your pocketbook is, but is this worth it to save your life? And is it less than $100,000, which is what it costs to do quadruple bypass surgery? Or is it less than, you know, $20,000, which is the price of a nice funeral? These are two, here's the next ones. Berberine Active and Turmeric Forte. So berberine, the herb, and turmeric, the, the herb, they are excellent at manipulating um, cholesterol and healing tissue. So for example, um, I have a patient who is seeing a holistic medical doctor. I love the medical doctor. I'm a big fan. And her cholesterol is genetically high. And it's not out of ratio. The VLDL is still very low. She's in good shape. Let's say her cholesterol is 350 and her LDL might be like, let's say 130. Okay, now the holistic medical doctor, cardiologist, wanted these numbers lower. So he gave her red yeast rice extract and um, berberine. I think it was berberine. And it came down like 100 points very quite quickly. So you can manipulate the cholesterol numbers. Now, 
what what's the cause of the placking? Well, in my idea, it's absolutely 100% infection. It's the mucus and the pus that comes from the bacteria, whether the bacteria is in the heart or in the mouth or in the ears or in the sinuses. It's it's an infection that causes heart disease. So you have to kill the infection. But if you are um, concerned for whatever reason that you want to keep your cholesterol down artificially, you can do that with supplements. These herbs, for example, and turmeric is very healing, and then red yeast rice extract. Now, I also want to add other products that I don't have in on my person here. One's called Cavidex. The website is cavidexusa.com, and this is a suppository. I have a patient. He did four days of the suppository, and his cholesterol dropped from 245 to 175, four days, right? He's got the blood work to do that, to, to test it. So cavidexusa.com. And when you read through that website and the successes there, it's pretty obvious how well it works. It's a great product. And then we also have magnesium carbonate. This is based on a book about, it's called Calcification, the Phosphate Theory you know, in the disease. So phosphatase or phosphate, I should say. And so calcification in the arteries, you know, obviously there's calcium involved, but what about the phosphates? And this book talks about why he thinks that it's important to take care of that, even more so than, for example, something like this. And his solution is simple and cheap and kind of a low dose, magnesium carbonate, 100 milligrams, three times a day. And then you can get the book if you want, you can read through it. So it's called Calcification, uh, the Phosphate Theory in Aging and Disease. So the last thing I wanna talk about is using topical therapies on the mouth, sinuses, ears, nose. If you have some sort of an organism and chronic infection, runny nose or whatever, hydrogen peroxide topically is very important for that. And this is 12%, so use a very little amount in your water, for example, when you use a water pick. And I did a video about this about a year ago called Cholera Up Focal Infections Causing Systemic Disease. So here's all the different therapies. Oh, and there's one more. And that's called Arterosil. Arterosil. This is a great supplement. I've heard great things about it. And I went through a bottle myself. Of course, I didn't feel any changes because I don't have any heart disease. Um, but I know other doctors that use it. And they say that it works. Of course, there's all the other factors like diet that can hinder arterosil from working. But it helps heal the inner lining of the arteries. Okay, so now all of these therapies I just talked about, they're all powerful. And every single one of the manufacturers wants you to take that one therapy. And then why take anything else? Because they have the best. Okay, now I just need to say Cellcore never talks about this for reversing heart disease. And they shouldn't, of course, because it's not uh, legal. But I'm saying that in this one case, it was the savior for a person with a high coronary artery calcium score. But in my viewpoint as a clinician, I want people to get better. That's my sole goal. And, if, and I just had a patient last week, he got great results with Saruta, and he loved the... Um, the concentrated K. And those two things were super important for him. And I had him on three other things. So he was two for three. And he's feeling fantastic. So it's like the other three now we can set aside because he's sure of the two that are really, really working for him. So then I got to thinking, well, why don't I just give everybody the protocol? And they start on the protocol. And if they can tell that one or four of them are really working well, then they can stay on those. But the point is, start somewhere, and you might as well start with all of them. Because I've had such varied results with all the products, and I, you know some are better than others, but yet they have all, all had good results, and they all work differently. They work on the inner lining, they work on placking, they work on calcification, uh, they work on the phosphates, they work on the organisms, they work on lowering, artificially lowering the cholesterol. Uh, the berberine can help get rid of macrophages, which turn into foam cells, which are part of the placking. 
And there's all kinds of science, there's all kinds of theories, there's all kinds of clinical results. But here's the whole protocol. I'm looking down at them. That's why I keep looking at these, these bottles. I set them down right here. So I'm, I'm done now. A after four years, I'm done with trying to find the one product that works the best for you. Because it's too exhausting. It's too much pain in the brain when it's like, why don't we just do all of them? And it's really pretty cheap, to be honest, compared to what the other um, side says, what the other options are, right? It's just nutritional supplements. And since they are supplements, they work well together. The Nanobac TX, it has to be uh, taken away from all the other products. And um, the rest of these products need to be taken like before 3 p.m. Okay, so there's some rules to follow on how to dose and how to take them throughout the day and all that kind of stuff. But I just want to share this with you because, I don't know, these are the thoughts I've had after now four years of dealing with how to figure out like how to fix arteries as best as I can. And I knew this going coming in. I knew that it's more than just Ceruta. And then later I realized, well, it's more than just Nanobac TX. It's more than just the fast food. It's more than, what, what else am I missing? What am I not, what have, what have I not learned? You know, what is that patient missing? What did I learn from my patients? Because one guy was low carb and it helped him lower his coronary artery calcium score. Then he went vegan and he continued to lower his coronary artery calcium score. And it's like, okay, does the diet really matter? Well, it, it does. Obviously, you want to avoid the processed food because the processed food brings in the bacteria and the organisms that release the mucus and the pus, right? The, the original problem is processed food. And then you have organisms that destroy your tissue and your body and they release mucus and pus and then it gets hardened in your arteries, in your neck and now you have a stiff neck, in your eyes and now you have um, the cataracts, in your knee and now you need bone spur surgery on your knee, you know, arthritis and all these problems of aging, stiffness, hardening of soft tissues, that's all from this process of organisms releasing mucus and pus and the immune system turns that to stone okay there you go um i hope you enjoyed this i hope it helped you if you need some help uh one-on-one -on -one, you can become a patient in the office um otherwise uh i'll see you at the next visit uh, see you at the next uh video